very chaotic right now. I don't think I've ever had you guys on this windowsill before. I am moving in two days. I just got back from a girl's trip with my two best friends, so I haven't been packing that much. But we were down to the last two days, so I really gotta get moving. I pretty much have most of the essential things packed up, but there are a few things that are kind of stressing me out that I haven't started yet. I have to take apart my table, like my sewing table. I have to take apart my bed. I need to carefully pack up my plants and move them over manually via my wagon because I don't want them to get ruined in the moving truck. There's basically a lot to do and very little time. I think this is moving vlog three or four at this point, so check out my first two if you haven't yet. Also, if you don't know, my name's Monica. I own a small business called Monica's. I make sustainable fashion, but I also have a day job. I work nine to five as a software engineer and I just make videos about balancing all that. I have needed to take a pause on my regularly scheduled sewing videos and crafting videos because of this move, so I appreciate all of your support and understanding. It is June 30th at this point, and I move on July 2nd. There's a 60% chance of rain um, the day we move, so that's fun. My boyfriend's friend is coming to help, which is very nice of him. But otherwise, we didn't hire movers. We're packing everything up ourselves. We we're actually only moving three blocks away, so that makes this move a lot easier than if we were moving states or cities or anything. I've come to terms with the fact that I'm moving. If you watched my first video, you know that it wasn't really my choice to move. I was kind of forced to move out of this unit, which is pretty upsetting or was pretty upsetting. And now at this point, I've come to terms with it and I'm very excited now. Excited to set up my new sewing space, excited to get a new change of scenery, excited to stay in Hoboken, my favorite town in the world. <laughs> but yeah, let's keep packing. All right, it's the day before I move. I have almost everything packed up. I just have to take the legs off my table in this crafting room and then figure out what to do with this Cricut holder because it's pretty heavy and I'm not exactly sure how to take it apart. So I'm gonna figure that out. All the little things are packed up into boxes pretty much. The rest of the rooms are pretty much packed up. I just have to do little things here and there. It is still supposed to rain tomorrow, so that's pretty upsetting, but I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, my crafting room doesn't look like a crafting room anymore, just the, the pegboard is really the only thing. Here's a little update on my kitchen dining room area. I have lots and lots of boxes. Um, hopefully it's a lot less than what it seems because this looks like a lot of work. That is our dining room table that has been taken apart. 
Our bedroom is pretty much packed up. I used to have um, this like ladder shelf situation that my dad built there. The only thing that's left is my bed and bed frame. And here, all my clothes are gone. And that's that. And my crafting room looks pretty much the same as yesterday because it's good to go. I just left some stuff in here that I don't want to actually take with me. It's going to thrift stores, but I don't have time to actually go to the thrift stores right now. So I'm keeping it hidden in there. These are just the last few crafting room boxes. The rest of them I already took over to the other apartment. My Cricut, some like sewing things. This I think I'm going to put in the bathroom instead of my crafting room because I don't really need it. I haven't been recording myself packing up these last few things because I'm getting a little stressed and picking up the camera, I need to set it up and have a good angle and all that stuff just sounds like unnecessary work for me right now. <laughs> so I will try my best to get as much footage as I can. I know last year when I moved into this apartment, I got zero footage of moving out of my parents house and moving all my stuff into this apartment i started vlogging like as soon as i was settled in with all the boxes like already in the apartment and i like already took a little nap <laughs> and had a break so i'm gonna do a little bit better hopefully tomorrow and try to film the moving truck stuff and i will just try to do better officially move out day. I'm very tired, very overwhelmed that this is happening, especially since, again, it was not my choice to leave, unfortunately. But this is where we're at. I have everything I own in these boxes. <laughs> oh gosh, it looks crazy. It looks like I own too many things and that is an issue. So, oh, new angle. Mattress, my boyfriend's desk, old bedroom. Bed frame was taken apart last night. Everything's wrapped up. Closet is mostly empty. Very, very, very chaotic. It's 9.30 a.m. We're already facing a handful of issues in that we booked the parking spots in front of our apartment and our new apartment to be like a temporary no parking zone so that we can put the U-Haul there. But there are people parked there anyway. So we have to call tow trucks. We have to wait for them to come and get rid of the cars. I feel bad that the cars are there because the signs weren't put up with a lot of notice. So I feel bad that like people thought that they can park there for the weekend, but they actually can't. That has to get taken care of. We have a lot more stuff than we anticipated. Yesterday we were packing until like almost 1 a.m. because we just didn't realize we had a lot of like extra little like miscellaneous things. I don't know, this is my first time pa packing up like an entire apartment with like all the stuff being mine <laughs> or like ours. The first apartment I ever lived in, I was with a roommate, so only like half the stuff was mine and we got a lot of stuff that was like free off the street and so we ended up just giving stuff away in the end instead of taking it with us back home. When I moved from my parents' house to here, I just had like my personal belongings. I didn't have any kitchenware or diningware, like any of that kind of stuff. This is my first time having an entire like house basically of stuff to 
move out and um i'm not having the best time to be honest but uh crafting room is looking sad that's okay though it's uh it's pretty much gone my pegboard came down last night and that was depressing all right so i'm gonna go deal with the parking situation and then my boyfriend's gonna come with the u-haul and we're just gonna we're just gonna figure it out you know also the rain percentage went down 40 percent chance that it's raining right now but i'm looking outside and it's not happening so that's good hopefully it stays just like cloudy and cool all day because i did not want to deal with the scorching heat uh, it has been the past week oh my gosh you can really tell i look tired if you think i look sweaty right now you just you just wait Here's wait. Guys, please ignore. My eyes look dead. I got this really massive new pimple that is from stress and tiredness. A moving pimple. I'm squatting on the ground because my legs will not hold me up anymore. So we moved yesterday. Um, there's actually still a few more things downstairs in the lobby um, and on the second floor that I need to bring up this morning. That's what I've been doing. That's why I am already sweaty and why I am very tired. Well, I'm mostly tired because of yesterday. It took us about 12 hours altogether to start the moving process and end it. My boyfriend went at 9 a.m. to go pick up the U-Haul and we didn't park it for the night until like 8.30, 9 p.m. We just really miscalculated how much stuff we have. I felt very prepared at the beginning of this packing process because I had a lot of things in boxes and I felt like I could account for all the furniture that I had, like both in my crafting room and in my like personal bedroom and closet and stuff. For some reason, when we packed up all the last minute things, it took us the entire night, the day before we moved, and we didn't realize like how much stuff was still in like cabinets, like in the kitchen and like in our storage room and stuff like that. So we had a lot more stuff. Some of our boxes were a little too heavy for our liking. A lot of pieces were like awkward shapes. I mean, you know the drill, moving is tough. So this is nothing new. It's I don't know. I'm just feeling tired and don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, today's an unpacking day. I don't know how much I'll be able to do in this state. I do have a coffee and I do have a chocolate croissant, so that's a good start to the morning. Let me show you what it looks like right now. This is my crafting room. Not all these boxes are for my crafting room. As you can see, this is a Christmas tree. We kind of just put boxes everywhere because we didn't have a good method. In hindsight, I should have labeled the boxes as like what room they should go in, um, but that was a lot of work at the time. So this is what we're working with. This is the room next to it. It's the uh, gonna be the dining room. So we have like bigger pieces of furniture in here. We have all the dining chairs and my little mannequin that still doesn't have a name. Kitchen is looking rough. Oh, I thought these lights would seem less orange on camera, but it's still like a little bit orange, so maybe I'll change them. So that's that. Bed is here. More stuff. And this is my boyfriend's office. So also a lot of stuff. I also don't think all of this belongs here. I would also like to show you how narrow these stairs are and curved. So like this top piece was really hard to get furniture around. And I have my office chair chilling down there because it's heavy and I struggled bringing it up the first set of stairs, so now I'm just leaving it there for now. So it's been three days since we moved in. It was very chaotic and stressful and physically exhausting because it was the hottest day of the year. 
literally on saturday it was so hot sunny it was supposed to thunderstorm the whole day but it didn't rain at all it was just like very sunny we started off really strong packing up the u-haul and it didn't take us that much time we felt very energetic and excited about it and then somehow when we came to this new apartment and started unloading everything and climbing the two flights of stairs to bring everything up here somewhere in the mix of that we got super super exhausted and we slowed down a lot it took us 12 hours in total to finish up everything and we even left some things in the u-haul and parked the u-haul overnight here because we like couldn't find the strength to bring those last few pieces up but we've had a few days to rest a little bit we've been unpacking a little as well but today's the day we are going to unpack most of the stuff these boxes are gonna be gone i'm gonna find new homes for my plants in the past couple days i've done the bathroom and the kitchen because those were essentials and today i'm going to be working on my crafting room here it is i did decide i'm going to be putting up my pegboard i'm like 90 percent sure i'm going to be putting it up so that's really exciting all right let's get unpacking listening to 2000s throwbacks as I unpack my crafting room. So it turns out this room is not only going to be my crafting room but also like my hobby room slash closet for my personal clothes just because the bedroom itself doesn't have that much space and because I have this whole room to myself my boyfriend kind of just has the other room. I'm going to try to put as much of my own stuff in here as I can. So let me give you a little tour of my plan. All right this is what it looks like when you enter obviously very chaotic right now against this wall i want to have the calyx unit with all of my crafting supplies and such that i use most often so that'll be here and it won't take up the entire wall so i'm thinking of putting my like small desk here it used to be my little makeup desk my old apartment but i'm thinking of putting it here and using it as like a little computer desk nothing against the window because i want to leave it open for the ac and the heater and then this wall i'm thinking of putting <laughs> it looks so bad right now i'm thinking desk either in the middle or off to the side and the pegboard will go above that on the wall next to it i have both like this ladder shelf thing over there plus my mannequin i also have my keyboard which is in there you can barely see it so i'm trying to fit that against this wall all those things and then there's gonna be a lot of space in the middle so i'm thinking i can put this little table in the center so that's the plan it's kind of hard to see right now because i don't have my pegboard up so all of the pegboard stuff is like on the ground i also have a lot of fabric that's still in all of these boxes because i need to organize my fabric closet which is now also like 
my personal clothes closet so I need to organize that so that everything is where it's supposed to be and I can get things off the ground. I also need to somehow fit my desk down there so I'm trying to clear some space in this little hallway so that I can move my desk into here and reassemble it because I did take the legs off and that's how it's going. Mm -hmm. 